In this video, you learn how to use PGP encryption with Cleopatra. If you find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. So, first off, you'll have to download Cleopatra. If you've not already done this, I'll leave a link in the description to download it. So once you've done that and your screen looks similar like mine, we can get started. First off, we'll have to create a new key pair. So let's click on this right here. And right here, it'll say uh, email address, but you do not really have to add an email address. It's purely optional. So I'll just click on OK and skip that part. And it'll say success. A new open PGP certificate was created successfully. Click on OK. So just to show you what a PGP public key looks like, I'll show it to you. What you'll have to do is right click on your name, click on export, and I'll just export it to my desktop. I'll click on save, and I've already done it once. So once you have it, have it on your desktop, you can right click on this and click on edit in notepad. And right here, you'll see the fully PGP public key block we've just created. So to send an encrypted message to somebody, you'll need their PGP public key block. So I've already created a recipient key. So I'll just click on it right here on the notepad. And this is the same as the one you already created for yourself, but this is just from another person you want to send the encrypted message to. So what you'll need to do is you'll have to select their entire public key block. And the public key block starts with the first dash right here and it'll end with the last dash right here. So you'll have to copy this fully. So I'll just right click on this and click on copy. So what you'll have to do right now is go back to Cleopatra and click on tools right here, clipboard and go to certificate import. And we'll just certify it with ourselves. And here it'll already say the name of the person you want their public key block to be added to your Cleopatra. So we'll click on certify, certification successful, it'll say. And as you can see right now, we've added someone to our Cleopatra. And in this case, it'll be the person we want to send our encrypted message to. So the next thing you want to do is create a message that we can encrypt with Cleopatra. So I'll go back to the notepad and type a message we want to encrypt. So I'll just uh, say, hi, everybody. And what you'll have to do right now is select the entire message you want to encrypt and click on copy. So right now it's copied to our clipboard. The next thing you'll have to do is go back to Cleopatra go to tools and then go to clipboard and click on encrypt. And here you have to add the recipient you want to send the encrypted message to. So let's click on this and here we'll just choose Howard, the person we've just added and click on OK. So we'll click on next. Here it'll give you a little warning as well, but as we're sending it not to ourselves, but to somebody else, they will be the only person that can encrypt the message. So just click on next right here. And right here you can see encryption succeeded. And just click on OK right here. So the encrypted message right now automatically has been copied to our clipboard. So if you want to see the encrypted message, all you have to do is go back to the notepad. And we can just delete this. And what we can do is just paste the encrypted message. And as you can see right here, it'll say begin PGP message and end PGP message. So this is the message you can send to somebody else through email, WhatsApp, or another messenger service as well. And if you send this message to a person, they will be able to decrypt it if their PGP public key uh, has been added to their Cleopatra. So that is how you send a PGP message with Cleopatra. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. 